I'm Cameron Muir and welcome to the British Columbia Real Estate Association's Housing Market Update for November 2010. MLS residential sales in the province rode for the third consecutive month in October on a seasonally adjusted basis. Since July, the pace of home sales in BC is up 17%. However, home sales were relatively modest in October compared to historic levels. A continuing gradual upward trend in consumer demand is expected into the spring of next year in line with provincial economic and population growth. On the supply side, the number of active MLS residential listings was down 12% from a high recorded last May. The number of new listings added to the market each month is also down 26% from the high last March. Fewer homes for sale in the market are helping to stabilize home prices in most BC markets. Market conditions across the province still favor home buyers. However, the months of supply, which is the total active listings divided by sales, was down to 8.7 months from 8.9 months in September. The months of supply has been trending lower since July when 11.2 months of inventory was recorded. A balanced market typically exhibits five to seven months of supply. As always, local markets can vary significantly so contact your local realtor to identify market conditions in your community. The average MLS residential price in the province increased 5.8% to $521,871 in October compared to September. However, this rather large single month change was likely due to a higher proportion of luxury home sales last month, causing the average price to skew higher. The price of a typical home likely remained flat from September to October. Now let's take a look at real estate board activity around the province. This month's In Focus features the BCRAA Fall Housing Forecast. BC MLS residential unit sales are estimated to decline 12% to 74,950 units this year. After beginning the year at a brisk pace, home sales declined through July on a seasonally adjusted basis. The expected lull in consumer demand after a strong finish to 2009 was exacerbated by tighter credit conditions for low equity home buyers and investors introduced in April. In addition, a temporary uptick in mortgage interest rates in the spring had the combined effect of reducing the purchasing power of many consumers. The BC economy started strong out of the gate this year, aided by monetary and fiscal policy responses to the 2009 recession and the serendipitous fortune of hosting the 2010 Winter Games. The BC housing sector was particularly strong with housing starts and home sales rebounding strongly out of the recession. However, the BC economy began to slow in the second half of the year as growth among major trading partners sputtered and the housing sector slowed following the introduction of tighter credit conditions as well as the HST. Employment in BC has rebounded with most of the jobs lost in the recession recovered now within 24 months. After declining 2.4% in 2009, employment is estimated to increase 2.1% this year and a further 1.9% in 2011. Despite the relatively robust employment recovery, the BC unemployment rate is expected to remain elevated as the natural growth in the labour force and the return of previously discouraged workers expands the supply of available labour. The unemployment rate is estimated to increase or to average 7.5% this year and down to 7.3% in 2011. While the BC economy is expected to expand, expand at a healthy 3.4% pace this year led by resurgent consumer spending and residential investment, further growth will be tempered by BC's trade exposure to countries undergoing slower uncertain recoveries like the United States and Japan. As a result, economic growth in BC is forecast to slow to 2.6% in 2011. The silver lining for BC housing markets is that a more gradual pace of economic growth in both BC and Canada means continuing low inflation and interest rates. 
a rapid escalation in borrowing costs and therefore a sharp erosion of affordability is not expected. In 2011, BC MLS residential sales are forecast to rise 6% to 79,700 units. However, the pace of home sales will fall below the 10-year average of 85,500 units. Consumer demand in 2011 is expected to more closely match overall economic conditions and population growth. The average annual BC MLS residential price is forecast to increase 7% to $498,500 this year before edging back 0.6% to $495,600 in 2011. Total active listings in the market peaked in the summer and are now trending lower, while new listings added to the market are down significantly. Market conditions are expected to achieve relative balance in 2011, and the positive impact of improving economic conditions will be offset by some upward pressure on mortgage interest rates next year. That's it for the November Housing Market Update. Thank you for joining us, and I hope to see you next month. Bye for now.